Hey guys, Brian here from 2B Clean Auto Detailing, uh, Northeast Ohio. Uh, I want to say thanks for watching this video, and if you're a new time uh, video watcher, please press the subscribe button. Also hit the bell so you can get notifications on the minute uh, when I upload a video, which I try to do once and hopefully twice a week as my schedule permits. So this, little, this video is going to be about Max Shine uh, polisher rack and a Max Shine the compound holders and also the Max Shine Creeper store. And the reason why I wanted to do a video about this is because I'm a mobile detailer. I try to offer my clients as much as I can. So, um, but there's sometimes, if I need to do polishing jobs, I ask them to bring it by me so that I can control the environment. But I have a job coming up next week. It's a big truck that I gotta do, and it's gonna be a lot of polishing. So being mobile, I wanna have easy access to my tools and a, and a great setup so that I can just flow through the car quickly. So what I wanted to show you was the setup and how cool this is um, in my world on how you can open the cart and put these two accessories that I custom fitted on here. It's really basic and uh, at the end of the video I'll put a little how-to on how to make those. So we'll open up my trunk now. So you're going to see how fast this is. So it's not even going to take you time. Now this is a little cheap because I have my compound stuff and all my little towels and stuff out in the open. Normally you'd have them bagged up or in uh, con containers. But you're going to see how quick it is to, to do this, which is why I went with those with this little setup. So here's the, the collapsible cart. I'll put a link hopefully in the video on the, on the video that I made about this cart. And then here's the single polisher rack that I'm going to install. It's really easy. All it takes is maybe five, ten minutes to. Uh, well, you didn't need the right hardware at first. But, but just watch how easy it is. I only did the first row. Um, Ironically, if you look, this cart fits all three of those layers. So I can actually bolt it down to more than one. But to be honest, this is enough. Now you can tighten these as much as you want. Um, being as most of the weight supported at the bottom, I'm gonna just hand tighten them with these little wing nuts if I put them on the right way. So I'll just make them hand tight. So boom, polisher rack set up. Here's the creeper tool that fits perfectly inside the trunk of the sedan. Again, the theme I've been trying to do lately is trying to compact myself and be uh, still be mobile in a smaller unit. I got these little U brackets and I drilled an extra hole. I used the original hole that MacShine has. And it's super simple. I use this as a backing and then this support brace as well. Kind of helps support it. Again, I'm going to finger tighten these. The real cool thing about this the little U-bolt setup is it, brings, it has these little flat plates. So when you install them, and again, I'm going to finger tight these, you're going to see that it provides enough pressure on each side of the cart. Just enough to hold this up. Again, it's mobile, so if I'm doing a polishing job like this, so this truck that I have next week, it's going to be a four or five, four or five, six hour job. It just depends on the level of correction I'm going to attain. And so this is worth, I don't know, the video should tell, maybe like two, three minutes of install. And then I'll be set up I have to put my polisher on the ground. I can have my own cart if I want. So again, these are like finger tight and it's enough. So it's got support here. It's got support here. I'm going to show you why I love this idea. 
Uh, I'm really appreciative that MacShine has uh, these things to offer. You know, typically you would buy these for your garage and bolt them up. However, I still wanted to have my option of the immobile. So you just slide your polisher in here. You can put the cord in there if you want, but if you're polishing it, you can just hold it up here while you're moving it around. You can even throw your polisher bag in here if you want, extra backing plate. And say you're, uh, say afterwards you're going to be coating the vehicle, you can put your ceramic coatings on top. But for the first part, say you're polishing, you've got these little holsters, you can decide which ones you want in there. Put a clay lube, you know, so you can really have this set up for efficiency. You can put your clay lube, your panel wipes, uh, some all-purpose cleaners and such. And, you know, five minutes and you're all set up and ready to go. So when you're out there, you can get your little tool on and just go to town with your polisher. And when you're done, before you want to move on to the next panel, just hang it up and keep moving around. You got your towel set up, your, any, any of your coatings that you might need. So for me, uh, if I have to go mobile for a, a, a coating job, I will. And now I'll be able to do it with a lot of ease with this little cart set up, with the Max Shine single polisher holder, and even the compound holder. So I, I custom made it into my world. The cool thing about this creeper is this is as low as it goes, which for even a, even a car like this, it's enough for me to be comfortable. And then on top of that, a really cool thing is it's super tall. So if I decide to work on the bottom half, and I'm super tall, I can just sit here right here in my comfort. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope this gives you some little tips and tricks for you guys out there in the mobile world uh, to make your life a little easier. And again, I hope this uh, works in your world as well as mine. So. I thank you guys for watching this video and you guys have a blessed day.